I was once asked, how do you prepare for politics? And I said, I had five teenage girls at once. <laughs> that prepared me for politics. You had to listen, you had to negotiate for everything, and you had to sometimes just look up and be still. Anyway, I'm, it's, it's great to be with you today, and I want to greet you in so many ways. I think of, you know, Zin, Zin Bao, uh, Buenos Dias, Go away, Pong Yo, Daja Hao, and good morning. This is an opportunity for us to gather together and, and realize just how Oregon's rich linguistic and geographic and population diversity can all come together. I mean, we, we can appreciate one another, regardless of where we're from. And I believe that this cultural diversity that we have is one of the greatest resources that our state has. They offer and promote a great cauldron of mixing and forging diverse ideas, perspectives, religions, cultures, uh, diversity in all of its forms. Such diversity is good for business and it's good for the future of our state. Today we have an incredible panel that we will all learn from. They come from a variety of backgrounds, a true mix of diversity, of success, of experience, and they're some of the greatest that we have from Oregon. We also have a deeply diverse audience. I mean, look around you, look at your table. Are there people here that you don't know? I, I've been to China, I'll mention that in a minute, uh, on a number of times, and in the Chinese language, they have a kind of a cultural idea, and it's called Quan Shi. And Quan Shi loosely is translated as relationships before business. And so part of what we're trying to accomplish today is to bring people together so that you can start some additional relationships, get to know each other, and network. On a local level, I would like to introduce you to Lee Fleming. <laughs> Lee, stand up. <laughs> He's taking a picture right now. So. Let me tell you a little bit about Lee. Here's what Lee has said that has meant so much to me. And by the way, Lee's Multnomah County's Supply Diversity Officer. He said, driving toward achieving equity in our business practices is exciting, and it's, in my, it's my role. I get to challenge business as usual. I get to serve those who are underserved. We need to determine how to engage small and underutilized firms. And how do we better engage them? You know, we need to have an ability to serve the community directly and exciting. He says, I love my job. So Lee, stand up once more and let's show our appreciation for Lee Fleming from Multnomah County. And the future is bright for Oregon's young, young people. We have with us some individuals who are service-oriented, who have an entrepreneurial spirit, who embrace diversity, and who understand the importance of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, the STEM subjects. So we have these three young women from Westview High School. Would you please stand? I'd like to introduce you. Nazama, Namaita, and Ragini uh, are three young women and they travel and bring attention to our veterans who, have, who are amputees and they're coming up with ways to help them to be able to cope better in life. It's such a wonderful thing to see them and they are here with uh, Xavier Nixon and they travel around to other high schools and they also promote STEM learning among women students across our state. Thank you, girls, for all that you do. In short, diversity is good for business and it's good for Oregon, from the state behemoth of Multnomah County to STEM for girls in the high schools. 
Those of us in government also have a special role to play in the business of diversity. The Oregon dream is for us to be people of one heart in our compassion for one another, of one mind in our willingness to solve the problems that face our society, and one commitment to our service to our most vulnerable citizens. Oregon cannot reach its potential unless each of us reach our potential. Now for me, I, be, you know, I feel that that's part of the Oregon dream, and so kind of on a, on a personal note, um, I'm hopeful that as we accept one another, that it goes all, to all of us. You know, I've, I'm Secretary of State, so I'm over the state, and I'm trying to work on opening opportunities for all populations, for all minorities, for those that sometimes don't get invited to the table. And yet, you know, I'm, I'm a, a, an old white guy from Central Point, you know, white hair, and I, what do I know about diversity? Uh, and I'm hoping that there will be grace given to me as I try to learn more. I mean, if you knew, like my background, uh, my parents were old when I, older when I was born, uh, and my father, if you've ever watched All in the Family, was Archie Bunker. <laughs> and my mom was Edith. And I grew up watching that dynamic, and it was, um, it was an interesting home to grow up in. Uh, Hard-working, great people, salt of the earth. But diversity was not part of their lifestyle or their concerns. Now, we can change that. For me, the Oregon dream is that we might be more like a family. And I you know Walter mentioned that, you know, as, as Martin said, you know, brothers and sisters, I mean, we've got nine kids. I have eight daughters and one son. And they cross the spectrum in our family. My young ones are very progressive, and they think that I'm, you know, like, Dad. Nobody thinks that way anymore. And the older ones, you know, everybody, they have their own personalities. But they're family. And I believe Oregon should be like family, where we don't just criticize each other and blame for the past, but that we focus on where we can work together for a better future for our state. I believe that that can happen. We are a family, we're a diverse family. We have every hue of sexual preferences, multi-generations, we have every religion, we have every zip code, we have just such a diverse amount of backgrounds but we have so much in common. We want this to be the best state it can be. And when we look back at our history, we haven't always lived up to our potential. And yet, for me, I believe that by working together, it becomes, you know, it's the glue of our democracy, the glue of our republic. It is the spirit that made our state so, so great, so attractive to the pioneers who settled here who gave us so much that have benefited us in our own lives. I mean, we drink from wells we didn't dig, and it's for us to leave our state a better place for those that follow. You know, I hearken back to the things that made our country great. Our Declaration of Independence, I think, spells it out in such a beautiful way, where it says that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all are created equal, that we're endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights, the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That was given at a time when equality was not a strong point for America. But it wasn't about that current situation, it was about a goal of what we can become over time. And so many years have passed away, but there's so much that we progress that's been made, but so much more that we can do. Now, I'm excited about the conversation we're going to have here today. We have a great panel. We have a great opportunity to network. And it's not the end of the conversation for us to meet. Hopefully, this will be an annual event. And it's just the beginning of the conversation.
Because as Secretary of State, I want to serve all of Oregon. Rural Oregon has its challenges. North Portland has its challenges. The coast has its challenges. Everyone does. And so we have a government that is supposed to serve the people, of the people, by the people, and for the people. And if there's anything that I can do in the next four to eight years to promote that, then this will be time well spent. As your Secretary of State, I'm committed to upholding the principles that in the Pledge of Allegiance that we give, whenever we give the pledge, where we say, with liberty and justice for all. And today, I hope that we expand that to be with liberty and justice and opportunity for all. So let's stand together for diversity in business. Let's stand together for diversity in our relationships. Let's stand together for a bright, unified future for the state of Oregon. Thank you. Let's, let's give another round of applause for Secretary of State Dennis Richardson.